What really happened to Irene Ryan legendary Irene Ryan tribute? Irene Ryan gave US media a real treasure when she performed the role of Granny. It is a celebrated television series which lasted from 1962 to 1971. We were given the riches of one performance in that grandmother wisdom and humor to kick in. There are great things to consider when it comes to the different episodes and those hidden teaching lessons Granny gave us. It was not in the traditional way. I remain Ryan was born in El Paso, Texas on the 17th of October 1902. She got her first taste of stardom at the age of 11 when she took part in an amateur talent show in San Francisco. Unfortunately she didn't have the support of her Irish mother who was fond of saying if you ever encounter the devil it would backstage. At the age of 20 she married Tim Ryan Neat comedian and the two of them created and performed a Vanderbilt act. They also were a part of 11 short comedies for educational pictures from 1935 to 1937. Divorced in 1942 I remain kept pushing forward. Being a part of Bob Hope's radio show for two years. CO starring in several 1943 short films with comedian Edgar Kenny and then made her debut that same year in musical film Hello My Darling Clementine. Surprisingly she and Tim Ryan appeared together in four feature films between 1943 and 1944. Two years later it was back to the radio and being a part of the Jack Carson show. Then in 1955, she made her first television appearance on the Danny Thomas show followed by several other shows. She also created a successful nightclub act for herself during the 1950s. The Beverly Hillbillies was next How do I feel about all this she asked rhetorically in 1963. It's like I have gone to heaven. Honestly it's so funny that I just sit and laugh. Six months ago no one cared whether I was alive or dead. Now everyone I need ask how old are you really granny? The show is just so simple just good old fashioned comedy. No one is neurotic we solve no world problems and there's no message about anything. She was nominated for two Emmy Awards for her portrayal. Getting the part she related in 1972 wasn't easy. I had to fight for it she told the El Paso Times. They told my agent I was too young. I had worked with the script writer Paul Henning before on the Dennis Day show so I went up and read for him. It was the first time I had to close a script from laughing. I told them if they had anybody older they'd never make it up at 5 o'clock a.m. for filming. After a bit of a delay she was notified that she had the part. A year after the show ended in 1972 I Renew appeared on Broadway in the role of birth in the Bob Foss directed musical Pippin. Sadly on the 3rd of October 1973 she suffered a stroke in mid-performance flying home to California doctors informed her that she had an inoperable brain tumor. She died on the 26th of April 1973 at the age of 70. I read always seem to have confidence in yourself as a person and performer. As far back as 1953 she began sharing her secret being true to myself. There was a time when I envied the most beautiful girl in my class but I outgrew that and learned to make the most of my funny face. Being happy successful finding a pleasant form of expression does not depend on having regular features. Don't let anything stop you from getting everything you want out of life the less beautiful you are the harder you will have to work developing yourself but far better than depending on beauty for everything. Because what will you have when that fades? Goodbye legendary actress Irene Ryan.